Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a uh, new to me knife. I'm not exactly sure how long this particular knife has been out on the market. Uh, I actually saw a friend of mine post a picture on Instagram and this knife was in the background and I saw it and I, saw, I said, wow, that is a really cool knife. So I looked it up, found it, bought it and uh, it shipped to me. I just got it about two days ago. Haven't been able to play with it, but I wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys because I thought it was really cool. So as you guys can see, this is the Wraith. Uh, this is the Ice series. And this particular knife is from, where is the, there it is, <laughs> Ontario Knife Company. So if you guys are familiar with Ontario Knife Company, uh, they make a model called the Wraith. And this particular one is the Ice series. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what that means and why it immediately caught my eye. And there it is. This knife it has a clear handle. Uh, I thought that looked really, really awesome. Uh, I'm a big fan of the um, Jade G10, uh, Jade color handles and things like that. So this obviously um, comes very close to that, but in the fact that it is actually clear. So you can see right through it and you can actually see the workings of the locking mechanism, which is really, really cool. Now it is a small knife. Um, this has an overall length of 6.5 inches, blade length of 2.6 inches, and a close length of 3.9 inches. So again, as you guys can see it here in my hand, it is very, very small. Now this would be, um, it would be, a, uh, I guess I would consider it an EDC knife, uh, not a hard use knife, um, just because of the makeup and stuff like that. But, um, you know, just a, a basically an EDC knife to uh, open up boxes, open up letters, cut string, cut cord and stuff like that. Uh, pretty much what the majority of us will be using EDC knives for, um, you know, this knife would come in perfectly. Now this is a very lightweight knife, is 1.5 ounces. So again, if you're looking for something very, very light, uh, uh, definitely a conversation piece, then this knife right here is the knife for you. I actually ended up ordering this from Knife Center. And the best thing is if you want to go ahead and pick one up, um, I'm not sure how long these prices will be, but right now, as of the filming of this video, uh, December 6th, it is $22.75 on Knife Center. So again, uh, it's a great price on this really awesome looking knife. So you do have dual thumb studs right here. Um, opens up and it locks up very, very nice as you guys heard it there. Really awesome blade. Again, it's a 2.6 inch blade. Uh, it's a satin finish drop point, but you do have a nice big belly right there. So again, um, you know, it's, it's good for, you know, the majority of EDC tasks. So there it is, Wraith. And then let's see, the, the reverse Ontario knife and then Taiwan. You guys can make it out there. It's nice and shiny. So you do have dual thumb studs on either side. Now this is a lock back um, knife. So the lock is in the back right here. So you go ahead and press that. And what's really cool is that you can actually see the lock bar moving on the inside of the handle there because obviously it is pretty clear. So um, you can disengage the lock and it locks up. Uh, you can see the pocket clip on the other side. It's a nice thin pocket clip, tip up carry, right hand only. So um, again, if you want to go ahead and pick it up. It's only a right hand carry, but um, this knife, you know, it, it still has a lanyard hole in the back, so it can easily um, remove that uh, pocket clip if you want to just kind of drop it in the, in the, um, in your pocket or something like that. So um, again, it's very small, very light, um, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it feels really nice in the hand. So you do have a little bit of texturing right back here on the handle, which makes it look really nice. And again, it's not a completely see-through handle. Um, it's, it's almost like it's frosted. I guess that's why, um, you know, the, the ice um, uh, in the name. So the ice series in, in the name of the knife. But um, I think it looks really cool. It came fairly sharp. Now the blade steel is actually, I'm actually reading this off, is... 14116 stainless steel. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but it's actually marked on the blade right there again. 1.4116 or yeah, 1.4116. Not uh to German steel, it says. I'm not familiar with that steel, but I think for the most part, for what you're gonna be using this, um, you know, it's 
it is what it is. You know, you can go ahead and and test it out if you want to. Uh, again, for the price, uh, twenty two bucks, twenty three bucks. You you really can't beat it, especially with Christmas right around the corner. If you want to maybe you know pick up some and and use them as stocking stuffers, or or maybe you know tell your loved one that you want one of these to kind of add it to your EDC. I think it looks really really awesome. Again, um, I saw it sitting in somebody's picture there, and just just having it closed like this and seeing the blade inside of the handle, the locking mechanism, and everything. It just looks, looks really really cool i think they they made it look really awesome and again it's not a uh, a combination that you normally see um you know normally you don't see uh see-through or or translucent or transparent however you want to call it knives uh especially with the handles like that so i thought that was really really awesome so i decided to pick it up just to kind of throw it into the edc rotation when i want something light uh obviously it's a, it's a conversation piece the um the handles are actually contoured very nice also so it has a you know, like this, uh, it, it goes up and then it comes back down. So it fits, fits really nice, especially if you're going to be holding it in this manner to maybe make some cuts like that. But even in the, uh, the regular, um, grip right here, which is normally what I would do to either cut open boxes or, or open up mail or something like that, it's still very comfortable. So there it is. I just wanted to, uh, give you guys a quick look at this knife. Um, uh, don't have much experience with it as far as, uh, edge retention or anything like that, but, you know, again, for the price and for what I'm going to be using it for, just rotating it in and out of my EDC, I think it's just going to be fine. So that is a quick look at the Ontario Knife Company Wraith, the ICE series with the see-through handles. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.